Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, I want to talk about the Maximizer Max Hot. What an awesome win yesterday at the German Darts Open. Come from nowhere. Absolutely incredible. Max has had so much pressure put on him um, since, you know, coming to the game, at si oh, obviously earlier, but really well known since 16. Um, Germany, I wanted a huge superstar. I think he's had so much pressure put on him. But um, over the last X amount of years, he's not delivered anywhere to near where he can. Schindler's obviously come along. He's been spoke about a lot as well. Um, Max Hopp, as we know, won the PDC Youth, but it's been really, really tough for him. But to go and win the German Darts Open the way he did yesterday. Not only that, the players he beat along the way is incredible. All that MVG wasn't in there, but my God, did he take some great scalps um, to win this German Darts Open, which nobody expected at all. I'll tell you what, let's actually have a look at Max's route to the final. So he started off against Zoran Lurchbecker, um, and he beat him 6-1 in the opening uh, match. He had an average of 99.49. He had a 6-1-40s, 3-1-80s, and a 60% checkout. He was absolutely on fire. He had 6 from 10. Um, to be honest with you, did I think he'd get through that one? I thought it would be tough. Um, might have just given him that one to, to, to edge that one, to be honest with you. Um, then into the next round. He was facing Peter Snakebite right. We all know that Snakebite's not at his best at the moment, but he'd done well in the last two um, Euro events. So this one was a really tricky one, but I thought he wouldn't get past it. But again, he hit a 94.26 average. He had 714s, couple of 180s. His checkout percentage was 33.33%, uh, hitting 6 from 18. But comfortably beat, well, I say comfortably, he went through against Peter Wright uh, 6 Four. He then went on to uh, face Benito van der Pass. I thought that he would play this. To be honest, I don't know what's happened to Benito at the moment. Um, I'm really worried from if he carries on as he is. No disrespect to Wes Newton here, but I can see the same happening. Benito being a top player, uh, something's not right. He has, uh, he's all over the place. I can see him dropping totally out the rankings. So I thought that Max Hopp would come through this one. He only had an 84.2 on average. That was because his checkout was so bad. He only hit six from 31, uh, as checkout percentage of 19.35. So it just shows, he had five 180s in that match, a couple of 140s, but even playing like that, um, he was still able to, to beat Benito van der Pass 6-4. He then went on to Joe Cullen, as we all know, excellent player, had a really good start. Joe Cullen started to get back into it, and I thought, could this be it? But no, uh, Max kept his curl, he had a 96.89 average, um, he had the highest checkout of 106 in this one. 46.15% uh, checkout, 6 from 13. Um, beating Joe Cullen, 6-4, uh, to set up a semi-final with Rob Cross. Now, for me, after MVG went out, there was only going to be one winner of this. Rob Cross, I thought, was going to win the German Darts Open. I thought it was his to lose. Um, obviously, beating Michael Smith recently in the Premier League. Um, I couldn't see Max getting anywhere near Rob Cross. Rob Cross had a good start as well, went a couple of legs up. But again, Max played sublimely. Um, he had an average of 100.23 against Rob Cross. He hit 13 140s, uh, 5 180s, um, and a checkout percentage of 50%, 7 from 14. But not only that, the bottle that Max showed on that last leg, it was against the darts. Um, and he took out 1-2-1. One, one. He started off with a 20, treble 17, and bullseye. Step unbelievable. Step back, um, especially because he'd already had about five match darts before then um, to set up a, a final with Michael Smith. Incredible. But even then, going into the next match, I still had, for some reason, Michael Smith as the favourite because of the way he's been playing in the Premier League. Again, Smith got a really good lead. I think he went 4-1 up. Um, but Max Hopp just hung in there. He had an average of 94.62 in this one. He hit 10 140s and 4 180s. Uh, and he got back into it. Um, it went to 7 all. And again, could he hold the bottle um, to beat Michael Smith and pick up this awesome uh, win in, in his hometown or home, home country, Germany? Unbelievable. He did. 1-2-1 one, one, went slightly different this time. Treble 20, 11, bullseye. 
absolutely amazing for the 21 year old. You could see by um, afterwards just the tears of joy and also the pressure. You know, was the pressure of, of doing this now off Max? Is he able to settle down and just concentrate on playing darts, knowing that he can mix it with these big ones on the big stage and, you know, win like he did? There was an interesting tweet, actually, as you can see here from Burton on Twitter. Um, Max hadn't actually qualified for Dublin, uh, Blackpool or Wolverhampton. But yesterday when he won it, uh, it now looks as though Burton saying he's secure for Blackpool, secure for Dublin, probably secure for Wolverhampton. He's now a PDC ranking event winner. What a decent turnaround for the German hashtag number one. What a great tweet. And I didn't actually know that, so thank you very much for that information there, Burton. So just before I wrap this video up, well done, Max. I'm absolutely blown away for you. I think this is going to kickstart your career. But what I want to do is I've got a poll running. So if you just click that I button up there and get involved and let me know what you think. Do you think that this event win is going to kickstart Max Hop now into... Um, winning other tournaments, having deeper runs and take a lot of the pressure off or not. As always guys, massive thank you for watching. For those of you that like all your darts predictions, don't forget to check out obviously www.fantasydarts.tv uh, We've got the German dart, um, we've got the Austrian darts open coming up this weekend, sorry. Uh, another really good one to look forward to and we've got the Premier League um, on the fantasy darts as well. Don't forget to check out dartsplanet.t TV. Thanks to Bert. Um, as always, if you like the video, please leave a big like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.